Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum dear students. Hope you all are fine. Today we are going to study your computer grade 4 book chapter number 9 introduction to PowerPoint 2013 which is from page number 107 to 118. Before going to the uh, today's lecture let's uh, have a preview of the previous lecture we have taken it was about creating tables in word 2013 we have read all the uh, options available in tables and how can you make a table to format and to have a better table and well organized information in the form of a table now let's move on to today's lecture which is about powerpoint a PowerPoint presentation consists of a series of slides. A slide is a presentation that can be thought of as one page of a magazine or a booklet or anything else. Or your book, uh, consider it as a page. A slide is, in other words, as a page. So, today we are going to make a presentation which uh, we are having in this uh, app which is known as ms powerpoint so uh, before going to the presentation let's see how to make a slide or how to add a slide in presentation just click on this plus sign now you can see we have all the different formats of the uh, slides you have different formats of slides you can have a blank you can have the different designs of slides which are available you can see there are a lot of different designs which are available in it and you can choose with your own desire of which design you are going to make the presentation now I am going to pick uh, any one of it and let's see I am going to have uh, this one blank or the this one so as you can see i have the red colored uh, presentation so now i am going to add uh, the different formattings in it and i am going to tell you how to make a slide and then we are going to put the animations and we are going to put the themes, shapes, pictures, smart arts, screenshots, sounds, movies, etc. And through PowerPoint, we can have the multiple uh, features. And uh, now I'm going to uh, start the presentation. So we have uh, this, uh, you can say, uh, text box which uh, is of heading okay now you can have the title uh, you can see here it is telling you that double tap to add the title so if you double tap or click on this it will change this into a cursor like this and you can add for example I am uh, having my presentation as making uh, presentations presentation okay this is my title now here you can see I can change the font size and I can change all the uh, formatting as we have done in the previous lecture uh, in which I have uh, told you how to change the font color font size and other formattings done in it and this is done from this bar so okay now uh, let's move to the subtitle which is from this here uh, let me tell you one thing that we can add some bullets in it uh, in order to make our presentation more presentable so the bullets can be added from here so uh, let me uh, tell you I will use the I can use the numbers or I can use the bullets so I if I type some of the uh, points uh, just like adding slides adding slides or uh, inserting images etc I am just giving you a preview that you can have a uh, layout like this 
inserting slides etc so i can add bullets in it so here you can see i have the bulleted list of the presentation now here i am moving to the next page or next slide so i will click on this add sign or plus button so that i can have the next slide so just click on it and here you can see i have the next slide of my presentation so again double tap here and you can uh, add variety of things for example i have now the topic themes of presentation and then double tap here and you can add some uh, your as per desire you can change the bullets here i let me show you a magnified view of this you can see i have the bullet over here one i can change it as the symbol bullet or the number bullet now we have read how to add the slides okay i am uh, now adding another slide so i will again click on the add sign and you, here you can see i have one two and three slide already added in my presentation now how to do the formatting in the presentation just click on the sign as uh we have read in the tables topic that we have the home tab and by clicking on this we can have different variety of options available in it these all are used for formatting so in in the powerpoint formatting we will use some of these for example uh the home tab is for the general use we have used the font size we have used the bullets we have used the Uh, other uh, font uh, coloring and etc so we are going to the insert option now i am going to the insert option here you can see i have the slide new comment table picture uh, etc videos audios shapes text boxes smart art etc all of these uh, features are inserted in the uh, slides for example new slide will add the new slide to it new comment will add a comment over here so that the reader or the presenter can have a best overview of what he is going to present the table will uh, insert that table in the presentation for example i have i am clicking on this so here you can see i have the table so in the table if i go to the table option i have the delete option insert as we have uh, read earlier that the delete option is to delete the whole table or the entire row or the entire column insert inserts the rows or column in the table style option or the table styles are two different options which are used for inserting different design and different colors of tables for example i am clicking on the style option and here you can see i have different header row total row banded row first column last column and banded columns option if i am going to the table styles here you can see i have variety of different styles of tables available here so when i click on this one of this i am going to show you i am just picking the purple color so here you can see the table is of purple color okay now moving to the next we have shading we have text arrange auto fade alt these all options are very uh, detailed and very well organized options and these are all suitable for having a well organized and a very presentable presentation of the presenter now we we have the draw option through which we can draw through mouse or touch the lazo select is when you select just like this it will select and transfer the uh, 
selected part to the wherever you uh, desire to be in the presentation the eraser as the name shows erases the uh, your desired text or your desired uh, art pen highlighter and etc all are the op different options available in it color thickness and ink to shape next is design we are having a little preview of all the options so that we can have a better view of how to make a presentable presentation so themes and there are the variety of themes as we have uh, seen in the starting of the lecture here we can have different themes which are available and then we have format background then we have transitions okay transitions effects are those which are to be done when the presentation is to be presented for example i am going to uh, use the flash apply to all and when i am going to play the presentation for example i am going to play the presentation here you can see it is presenting like this the presentation is being presented in the way i have chosen so here all the options are available which are very important for all of the presentation point of views animations slide shows review and view are all different options which are more detailed options and here we are here just to have a preview of how to make a presentable presentation so for today's lecture we have read about adding slides insert tabs slide transitions and animation viewing and organizing slides slide show etc that's all for today's lecture thank you for listening and allah